back again with another trailer reaction. My name is Josh. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you click the thumbnail, you're going to check out some Dark Harvest. I know absolutely nothing about this movie other than it's called Dark Harvest, and I'm actually not even sure if it's a movie, but it also is coming out October 13th. <laughs> it's going to be my favorite time of year. Clearly, I got some love for the horror stuff. So from the thumbnail, it looked a little horror -y, and I'm hoping that's what it's actually going to be. And I'm not, again, I'm not sure if it's actually a movie or a show, but it says it's on MGM. So I'm here to check this out. I was like, you know, I'm just in the mood for some new horror. So hopefully we get something good. All right, let's get it. It's Halloween. All right, I'm interested. You know what that means. Old Sawtooth Jack is going to rise from the cornfields. It's got to be stopped. Kill or be killed. You've all heard the stories. We failed at our duties. And that black dust destroyed our crops, our lives. It must die so we can live. Your sacred duty is to take down Sawtooth Jack before that church bell rings at midnight. You really think that's real? I saw it. It's real. You saw it? Did you kill it? Then let's go kill it. Oh. You should do it. You know I'm not allowed. Just because your brother won the run last year? I got an idea. If that thing isn't dead by midnight, this whole town is going straight to hell! I want to go home. I want to go home. You think you're special. Why are you doing this? If you're born in this town, you're cursed. I'm ending this. Tonight. It ain't over. It's October 14th, Friday the fort Friday the 13th. That's awesome coming out Friday the 13th, which is only one of two this year, which I really enjoy Friday the 13th. I so always make myself do a horror movie marathon that night and this will be no exception. That looked freaking fantastic and so cool and so different than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it is it oh, so he's a scarecrow. Sawtooth Jack. I mean, he actually looked a little like Jack Skellington, of course, from Nightmare Before Christmas, but this is a very interesting little wrinkle in the whole context of the story. It's not just some scarecrow that's killing teens and stuff like that. This is where the teens are actually, I don't know if it's a town thing or like a birthright, which it kind of look like, but there's like this whole tradition and mythos behind it. This this could be cool. Okay, I mean, it did say it was based off a best-selling novel from some horror director, writer. So I'm thinking maybe there's something to this, and hopefully this will be actually awesome. It looked awesome to start with, so, huh. And I love it when you have a period piece. It's like taken out of time. I don't know if this is like the 50s, something like that, maybe 60s. But that's a good, creepy time, you know? You don't have all the technology that we have now, but you still have a little bit, and you have ability to fight back. But we would be so out of our comfort zone now, and it's just awesome. I mean, I guess you'd be, always be out of your comfort zone if you're fighting a 10-foot-tall scarecrow. Hmm. I'm down for this. Definitely down for it. All right, so, and we don't have that long to wait, like another month or so? I'm on board. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you know about this story because I'm pretty clueless, but I'm also very interested. <laughs> Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go to the subscribe button if you would. That'd be fantastic. And as always, you're awesome. Peace out.